The Northeast community, its fire department and area first responders lining the streets, saluting a fallen firefighter as, as his body is taken to a funeral home in preparation of services. 53-year-old uh, Sean Giles, a volunteer firefighter with the Fuller Hose Company, was killed by a reckless driver while directing traffic at a scene. Matt Mathias has the story. Brother, an uncle, a friend, a volunteer firefighter, and a member of the Northeast community. That's the man people say Sean Giles was. The late member of Fuller Hose Fire Company was honored by fire and police departments from all across Erie County as his body was escorted to the Elkin Funeral Home. Members of the community he served lined the streets to pay respect to the fallen hero. It's devastating to the community. I mean, there's so few of us that are still doing this job that uh, a loss like this is, 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 is you, you can't explain it. I mean, it's going to be difficult. You can never replace that individual. State police say Giles was hit by a car Sunday afternoon that was recklessly speeding through an accident scene where Giles was directing traffic. The driver of that car, 41-year-old Dewan Simmons, now facing a number of charges, including homicide by vehicle, accidents involving death or injury while not licensed. According to court paperwork, Simmons has a criminal history, with several previous traffic violations, one as recent as August 16th, when he was cited for driving without a license. A fire police officer tells us that counseling services will be offered and provided for family as well as those who witnessed the events. We know that we lost a brother today and we need each other to lean on. And you can see there's people from New York, from Quarry, Fairfield, Harbor Creek, all over Erie County to come up here and say, we're sorry. Emergency services already face a staffing shortage that's been dubbed a crisis. One first responder fears after what's being called a preventable tragedy could make the situation even more dire. There may be fallout from it. Uh, hopefully it's a positive, maybe more people will join the emergency services. Maybe some will leave the emergency services because of it. Very tragic. Matt Mathias, Jet 24 Action News.